Mitchell, thank you. It's a story you'll see only on CBS 42. An ethics investigation may soon begin looking into former Representative Oliver Robinson. Robinson shocked the political community and his constituents when he resigned in November. After a decade of service, he cited a potential conflict with his daughter's new political position with the governor. But one group says there may be more to this story. CBS 42 News reporter Sarah Canty is joining us live from our digital newsroom with the story you see only here on CBS 42. All right, this ethics complaint you are hearing about first here on CBS 42 centers around the charter school application that was recently denied by the Birmingham School Board. Now, new rising star missionary Baptist Church applied to start Star Academy in Birmingham. The church would have gotten $540,000 over two years in rent from the school. Robinson is on the board of the church and the proposed school while he served on a House Education Committee. It's that position that's raising red flags for some people who filed this ethics complaint, saying he was in a position to benefit from the very legislation he had input into. On his resume, which every board member had a resume um, in the application, on his, um, it's very misleading in the way he mentions that he was a House of Representatives. It appears that he only was until 2010, and of course that's not the case. And also the fact that he left off, he put very many committees on there that he was a part of, but left off the Education Committee, which he was on for two years. This isn't about education, that's my concern, that it's more about money and power and influence. Those funds are Back with Robinson through email, he didn't want to go on camera, but he said this is just an effort to kill the charter school application and that he voted against the legislation when he was serving as a representative. I'll have much more on his, on his side of the story on WIAT.com, just search ethics. And as far as the ethics complaint, the commission has 100 180 days to investigate. Live in the newsroom, Sarah Canty, CBS 42 News.